Ideal Toys, Beware the Spider Game. For scary fun, pick up the bugs one by one. Just beware the spider. Touch the web and it jumps. <laughs> this is a really cool game from 1980. I didn't have one of these. Never even played the game before. I do remember seeing the TV commercial for it. It looked pretty cool. It runs on two C batteries. And it's another really cool game that Ideal came up with. I absolutely love the box art on this game. Back in the 80s, 70s and 80s, they had some incredible box art on a lot of the toys. And this is another one of those that are really, really cool to see. On the side of the box, it shows the uh, game again. Touch the web, it jumps. And of course on the back, for ages six and up, two or more players, a web full of crawly, creepy critters, and a jumping spider. Beware. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at what comes in the box here. So I'll open this up and do a little zoom in. Okay, first up, here's the play field. It's got a web. This web is basically a foil sheet, and this little fork here, when it touches it, It'll spin a motor up here, which will flip a lever, which will flip the spider off at you. Of course, the batteries go in the back. It runs on two C batteries. But oh, so we stick them in. That one goes that way. This one goes this way. So when I touch this, the lever up there is going. <laughs> also in the box we have our creepy crawly critters. And I have a homemade spider in here. So of course we have a bat, which is worth one point. Then we have a scorpion, which is worth two points. Then we have a... I forgot what this was called. <laughs> Another critter. That's worth three points. The idea of the game is to try to pick up these critters to total 15 points. The first person to get to 15 points wins. Now you're thinking, well, I just go after the uh, three-pointer all the time. Well, what's interesting about this game, if you look at these underneath side, they got these pegs. This one has long pegs on it, so it sits higher off the play field. And the three-point one it's really stubby peg, so it barely sits off the play field. So it makes it a little bit harder to get in under this and not touch the web. I mean, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> of course, you got enough little creepy crawlies to fill up your play field here. So put all those on there. Now, the original spider that came with these. It was made out of a soft foam, and it deteriorated over time. I have not seen a set for Beware the Spider that include the original spider that wasn't all disintegrated, falling apart, legs off of it, body half disintegrated. The foam they used back then was not all that great, and it did not uh, survive the aging process very well. So I had to make my own spiders. So I made a little template little spider template and you know we print it off at 30 percent and cut it out I would tape it to a piece of foam which I picked up at Michael's uh, let me get the foam here real quick Ugh. so you can see the foam sheet I used so here's the foam sheet I used it's uh, made by great ology foam sheet a 9 by 12 and it looks like it was a part number Zero zero oh zero zero one zero zero two four five nine three. So that was the foam sheet I used, and once I did that, I I uh, I glued it to the foam sheet, and then I used a hot knife to cut out one of the spiders. The other spider I did, I used just a really sharp exacto knife and cut it out. Now this is the spider I did using an exacto knife. 
and it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. And this is what I did with the hot knife. It's a little bit more defined, but the legs aren't as long. It's got a little, uh, little green eyes too. I kind of like this one better with the thicker legs and a little bit longer legs. It's only one sided. This one's got green eyes. But this was the first one I made. This was the second one I made. They're, they both work just fine. This one tends to like to flip a lot when it goes off. So I call this Flippy the Spider. And this one, when you put it on here, it kind of jumps forward quite a bit. That I like. So uh, we'll use this one. So basically you stick it on here like so. And then when you touch the play field, he jumps down on you. <laughs> Isn't that a cool gameplay mechanic? That is so awesome. Also in the box, we have the instruction manual. Get this out of the way there. Get over there. It's a two-sided instruction sheet. Tells you how to put it together, how to affix your labels to your spider when you first got it, how the game was played, where you set the spider at, on his little perch up there. And it has the rules of the game. The rules are to score, a player must lift bugs off the web with the fork. Players may not slide or flip up the bugs off the score. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard enough being old and shaky. I, I, I let my wife do a little bit of you know, stuff where you shouldn't be allowed to do. We're old. Anyway, here's the scoring the bats, one point, Scorpion, two points, a night crawler was the other one. Three points. First player to get 15 points wins. Pretty cool. So basically what you do is the first player, you decide who goes first and you start lifting bugs off. As long as you don't hit the web, you can take all the bugs off to get the maximum score, put all the bugs back on, and then go again. When you hit the web, the other guy gets his turn. Pretty straightforward. Very straightforward game. I'll show you what Flippy does. Let's put Flippy on here. Flippy the spider likes to flip. Whee! <laughs> Flippy! <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this one a lot better. Now, I put the drawing for this over on the Toy Tomb Facebook page. If you want to print off and maybe make your own spider for your... Uh, Brewery the Spider game, if you're missing one. Uh, like I said, I picked up the foam board at Michael's Hobby Store, so it's pretty easy to find. And uh, it's actually a really fun game. It's uh, very entertaining. Anyway, I'll get this all set up, and uh, my wife and I will play a game. Alrighty. It's nice to see what it does, you know, the sound, and, you know. Yeah, I'll let you go first. to share. There you go. Okay. So. Whoop! <laughs> scared myself. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That one just come flying out. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's very sensitive. I didn't even really think I had touched anything. Oh, yeah. Try, you try to go in as flat as you can like this. You go at an angle, you have more of a chance of hitting. Plus, it's easier to pick up from the sides. So we'll just rotate this around. As long as I don't touch the web, I'm okay. Ooh. Okay. You definitely don't have a bunch of caffeine when you're playing this game. No. <laughs> At least it doesn't have that annoying buzz like uh, Operation used to. There's I one. Always used to disconnect the buzzer so you just have the flashing light. Oh, yeah. Operation. I love that game. I just hated the noise. Yeah. I'm trying to find a vintage one of those to make a video on sometime. Yeah, you definitely... Oh, I am shaky. Look at this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. This is not a game for old people, is no. it? No. 
Oh my gosh, I am so shaky. Oh, this is another ideal game, isn't it? Yeah. They got some neat stuff. They made some good stuff. Oh, 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 yeah. There's two points. Ooh, he almost hit that. I know. I saw. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Three points. Let's go after a two pointer here. Now, this one sits lower, so it's going to be harder. <laughs> You're up to five. Up to five. This would definitely keep your other kid entertained for a long time. It's going to take a long time to oh. get up to 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now I got the five points. Let's get all the critters back on again. And you, you can slide around, you know, mm -hmm. to get at an angle where you want it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Whoa! Very good. Oop. Oh, that's okay. You just turn it back we'll over. We'll flip it over. There we go. All right. Does it have in the rules what happens if you do that? No, but we'll just flip it back over. I guess it's either that or you just say, okay, well, you can't pull that one. So if you get all the other ones, great, but you're not going to be able to get that last point. Well, that's the nice thing about these kind of games. You can make your own rules <laughs> off the basic stuff. Oh. What makes it so unnerving is you start concentrating really hard and that freaking spider jumps. I know. Even when I told you to set it off, it managed just to startle me. I mean, ideal came up with some really great ideas for games. Push him right off the grid. Oh man, you're getting better at this. Push the yellow one back on. Here's the one I couldn't get. Oh, look at this. You're going to try to hook it. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, oh, it's tied five to five. You didn't say anything about not using the edges. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get the yellow one. This. Oh, look at this. Now, now, wait a minute. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> he didn't tell me I couldn't. Oh, I don't know how you get him out. I guess I should have tried to bump him up. With, uh, when I still had a red guy on there. <laughs> it definitely freaks you out, don't it? Well, so seven, right? Seven, so that means you're at. Uh, you're at. Five. I'm at five, and you're at seven. I guess I should have brought a pen and write this stuff down. <laughs> okay. Well, for the sake of time, I don't think we're going to make it to 15. <laughs> we'll be here for a half hour. Now we can go to 10 then. I want to see how if we get improving it on where or not. You also have to test out your other spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still makes me jump. I know. You know it's coming. Well, 7 to 5. Here you go. <laughs> Try the other guy. You want to try the other spider? Yeah. They're both cool, but it's, you know, I mean, he's a little littler, but we'll try This him. is the second one I made. I'm not too happy with that one. Oh, this one was the first and that was the second? No, that's the second one. This was oh. the first one I made. 
That was the first spider I okay. made where I just cut his legs and spread them out manually like that to uh, make them look like this. Okay. Then I'm going to use a hot knife. I see. To cut the legs out. I kind of like this. the looks of this one better than mm -hmm. that one. Anyway. Like hamburgers. <laughs> oh, you got it. So there's eight. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's like, don't touch the grill. Problem with putting them up on something is it makes the other side even lower. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but nine. But we'll allow it. We'll allow it. <laughs> well, you it doesn't say not to in the rules, so we'll allow it. Look at this. <laughs> oh! You got the 10. So right now we're 10 to 5. This one flips over. Yeah. He's double sided too. Oh, that's cool. Well, okay. you, you use him for this one and then, uh, then we'll put the other one back. Do you want, does it matter where I. No, just throw them on there. Okay, okay here we go. Ten to five. <laughs> My hands are shaky. You're kicking my butt at this game. No, it's only fair. Usually you win. You were quite the pair. I can't see you and you shake. <laughs> Eleven. He's kind of got a little bit up there. I don't know if that's where he's just bent, but he's got a little bit, looks a little raised. He got a little arrogant. Ooh. Tried to get in where I couldn't see where I was going. Fourteen. You can go for the win with the bat. Fifteen points. Yep. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh that's okay. That's all right. We'll just flip it back <laughs> over. You had him. They lifted too soon. He doesn't have the stoppers under him like the other ones do. You got him. Well, that was definitely a good win. Well, I, I wanted to see if I could get him. <laughs>